So, with you know, with your body movement being such an important factor to athleticism, I think it's an under-focused skill in sports. No one in my athletic world, playing sports my entire life, swimming, you know, competitively since I was five, and, you know, football, baseball, basketball, all the sports. I never really had a coach that helped me to focus on getting my body to to have more control over my body. You know, what I've realized is that it all starts from the core. So you can to move without you thinking about it. So you have to be able to control your body. So in your core, the way you can work on this is by relaxing the neck, easier said than done. I'll show you what I mean in a second. And be able to release your core muscles. This will allow you to generate more power for every sport, from baseball to golf to surfing and swimming, getting more power from your paddling, from throwing a ball. Lots of kids and lots of grown-ups, for that matter, will throw a ball basically without turning their shoulders. So if you don't turn your shoulders, then you're not using your core muscles to generate more power. You end up doing the half throw or half swings. You have to be able to learn how to control your lower body. So let's try in this drill. You cross your, your arms, rotate your shoulders, keeping your head straight. So find a point to focus on and rotate, rotate. Remember, your core muscles are going to want to tighten up, so what's going to happen is you're probably going to have your head follow your shoulders. That's not what we're doing here. You want to keep your head straight and rotate your shoulders around your, your center. You try to stretch as far as you can, keeping your head straight, and then switch. Switch. That is going to feel really good when you do that. You want to practice right now. I bet a lot of you have so much tension in the back and neck, and you don't even realize it. That when I when you do what I'm about to tell you, it's going to be life changing. Yes, life changing. Okay, so roll your shoulders back, relax your shoulders. Now, what's going to feel like is then you're you're forcing your shoulders back, so it's, you're going to feel tight because you're using muscles. But what you want to do is rotate your shoulders back and then relax your muscles. So you keep your shoulders back without tensing up at all. Roll your shoulders back and relax. Train your muscles to relax in your, your shoulder area. Roll your shoulders down and relax. And then neck rolls. Now this is going to help you feel so much better with the tension as well as you, you want to rotate your head. Now what will happen is you'll scrunch up a little bit, you start to get tense, and when you do that you can't actually rotate your head. So drop your shoulders down, relax, and then just rotate your head and you're going to feel all that tension. Probably feel a lot better after doing that, right? All right, so shake it out. So all my athletic life, running, jumping, stretching, all these things I, I thought were bad, which is the furthest thing from the truth. This is, these are the fundamentals. This is what is, um, what is perceived as just genetic athleticism. It's, it's the focus on, on the fundamentals of relaxed muscles and keeping them very, very relaxed also is the point of stretching, right? You're stretching them out so they can stay relaxed.